Hi Cancer, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing great. We're gonna do your reading here in a moment, just a few things before we get started. Uh, if you're new to my channel, everything you need to know is in the description box. Details, uh, how to win a free personal reading. I do uh, post the winners each month. I'm actually hoping I'm gonna do that today. Uh, I was supposed to do it yesterday, but uh, uh, got sidetracked. So I'm gonna, oh my gosh, hopefully post that today. Um, a, one of your cards just, dropped out here okay let's see what it is i'm very curious because this just flew out there like a bat out of hell <laughs> that's all i have to say nine i don't know where that saying came from but nine of pentacles okay so that really wanted to come out all right, so um, again, everything's in the description box. Uh, if you'd like a, a personal reading, those details, how to enter the giveaway. And then lastly, <clears throat> there will be an extended reading link in the description box and in the comments. If this reading resonates with you, you can check it out, okay? And I will get into that more, but it's basically uh, the next three to four weeks energy and diving deeper into... Um, the person that shows up in here. So with that, let's keep uh, going here, Cancer. Uh, let's pull another card here for the energies. I'm pulling the main energies here. Gosh, that card just flew out. Okay, so we've got a Five of Swords, got a Nine of Pentacles, a Five of Swords, and we also have here the Sun card. Beautiful. I feel like this, um, the first time I've seen the Sun card in this deck, this is a newer card. That's a beautiful energy there. Okay, somebody basking in the sun. Almost looks like she's taking a bath there. <laughs> Maybe you're doing some bubble baths, Cancer. Okay, or you've got Leo in your chart here, and we have a Knight of Swords. Someone's coming towards you um, with communication is what I feel here with this Knight of Swords energy could be an air sign Aquarius Libra or Gemini now nine of Pentacles and the five of swords okay on the Sun card here you know what I'm getting here is I feel like um, there's some sort of communication coming, uh, someone coming towards you. I feel like there may have been some sort of conflict between you and this person, but it's almost like I'm, I'm feeling with this uh, big sword here. It's almost like um, the sunshine, um, you know, the happiness between you and this person. Um, it's almost like I feel like um, I just get like a, a breakthrough energy with this person coming towards you. Maybe you're going to be really happy to hear from this person. Maybe there was some sort of falling out or conflict between the two of you. Nine of Pentacles. This person is very attracted to you as what I'm seeing here. Okay, this could be you too in a very independent energy or you're dealing with someone who's very independent. Oh, wow. As I'm looking on the bottom of the deck here, we have the four of wands. All right, let's see what else comes out in your reading. Uh, we have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, and strong Leo. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this cancer. <laughs> Judgment. Okay, yeah. I'm not going to say anything, though, until I pull more cards. I almost feel like, too, um, you taking care of yourself, Cancer. Like I said, it looks like she's in a bathtub, okay, just, uh, you know, or maybe just basking in the sun, soaking it all up, okay, very attractive energy. Maybe you're doing things um, for yourself, looking good. All that kind of energy. Oh my gosh, it was showed up again. The Knight of Swords, that's what's on the bottom of the deck. Someone uh, I see here, communication. Yeah, they've been spying on you. Page of Swords energy. I'm going to keep going, uh, and then we'll go through the cards. Yep, Two of Cups energy. Ten of Swords energy. Oh my gosh. Seven of Swords. Oh, look at that. Ace of Wands. I feel like this wants to come out too. And the Moon card. Something unknown here. 
And bottom of the deck here, we have the Nine of Cups. Interesting. Okay, we got Pisces energy. Again, air sign, uh, I feel, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Strongly picking up air and fire. They could be any sign, just know that. Now we have Judgment, and we have the Two of Cups. Now, I'm going to say some of you... You know, I really feel like this is someone um, that there was some, there was a breakup. This feels like a past energy, someone coming towards you. It feels very strongly with communication. Someone I feel there there is mutual love or at one time there was mutual love between you and this person. So it's an energy here where I feel like there's an opportunity for you and this person to heal something that happened in the past. Um, or, you know, a chance for you maybe to get some sort of clarity because it does feel like with this Ace of Swords, there's some sort of truth, clarity, breakthrough, okay, communication, breakthrough of communication between you and someone with the Ten of Swords, okay? So there was some sort of difficult uh, situation, I feel, that happened with someone, but it already happened, okay? That's that worst is over energy here. And now I feel like there is some sort of communication breakthrough or communication having to do with a past situation. We're going to clarify. We'll see. I feel like it may have to do with the past conflict here with the Five of Swords. We do have the Knight of Swords and we have the Seven of Swords. So this could be someone um, who has avoided communication with you. Also pick up an energy here too. This could be somebody strategizing. Okay, this person is strategizing, but they're coming in pretty quickly here with the Knight of Swords. Feel like, too, this person, um, it does feel like there could, um, this person could be avoiding communication because with this Ten of Swords, this could be someone that knows that they hurt you, they betrayed you, or they did something pretty awful here with that uh, Ten of Swords. We're going to clarify the energies. We're going to get more details. Now, we have here, uh, I feel like with the Moon card, uh, emotions are running high. Uh, I feel like also too what's unknown here is that this person has been spying on you or keeping tabs on you, okay, with this uh, page of swords. Now it just, it can also be a curious energy. They may be very curious if they still have any chance or opportunity with you, Cancer. Um, you know, if you've been watching my readings that I've been picking up new love energy. This reading, I'm not picking up a new love. I'm picking up somebody here from the past. Um, just trying to think what the date is, okay? We're getting close to coming out of Mercury retrograde. It makes sense that this person, you know, could be coming back around to make things right here or to revisit this connection. Yeah, look at that. Nine of Cups, Knight of Wands, could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, and the Ten of Cups. Someone's coming towards you in a very, um, I feel, motivated, feeling a determined energy here too with this Knight of Swords. This is someone I feel, um, they're very like enthusiastic or excited I feel because it feels like this person has really been thinking and reflecting about this for quite some time. I feel this is someone you invested a lot of time with. And like I said, either you, the two of you had mutual love for each other in the past or there's still mutual love between the two of you. And look at that. We have the eight of wands. So this person has been doing a lot of thinking here and again, thinking about um, communication and I feel like how to come towards you and how to manifest you because the next card was the magician. So let's start clarifying cancer. Um, and then we're going to get some love oracles um, as well. But um, let's see why judgment is here, please. Why is judgment here, please? Or actually, I wanted to clarify the top first. Why is the nine of pentacles here, please? All right. The high priestess. Your energy, Cancer, and the Three of Pentacles. 
Okay. You know, like I said, I feel like you may be doing a lot of work on self here. Some of you intuitively, maybe just knew intuitively that this person was going to come back around here. Okay. There could be children involved, or maybe you know this person's children or vice versa. But um, I feel here, some of you intuitively, you may already be feeling that this person is coming back around, wanting to work on things here. Now, um, I feel like too with the Three of Pentacles, some of you intuitively, um, and that's why I said maybe uh, you chose you because some of you, there could be a third party and maybe intuitively, maybe you feel like your person was secretive, right, or not honest, um, but you have the wheel here, okay? There's an energy here of fate. I feel with this judgment card too uh, for uh, this situation to come back around, okay? Yeah, look at that. Three of Cups, reconciliation. Some of you, I feel like I said, could uh, be your intuition could have told you that there was some sort of third party situation or you just... You know, you're very in tune um, with this person. Why is the Five of Swords here, please? Why is the Five of Swords here, please? Okay, we have the Six of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Okay, I feel like, again, I just keep getting an energy here that out of some sort of conflict with this person, I feel like you've become more confident. You've become more assertive. I feel like, too, you've been working on self. This is a great energy. It shows me you're very attractive. It, it shows me here, too, that um, you may be feeling or start to feel soon that people are very attracted to your energy, looking good. Some of you could do something for a living, uh, you know, where you're, you're in the spotlight, um, getting recognized. Some of you may um, even be like, uh, influencers on YouTube or TikTok or something like that. Let's see why the sun card is here. The beautiful energy with the sun. It's, you know, definitely an energy of peace, happiness, prosperity. Why is the sun card here, please? Why is the sun card here? Okay, we got seven of cups and we got the page of wands. So what I'm sensing here, Cancer, is you're going to get some communication from this person. I feel like you're going to feel very happy to hear from this person, but I'm also feeling like you're not too sure. It's like you have mixed emotions. You're questioning a lot of things here. Uh, like I said, some of you may be feeling like there could have been a third party involved or maybe you knew there was a third party involved. So I see you really questioning a lot of things. Maybe there's a lot um, of you know answers or clarity that you need. Why is judgment here, please? Why is judgment here, please? Why is the judgment here, please? Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Cancer, look at this. The sun and the ace of cups. And I'm just going to show you the next card here is, wow, the ten of pentacles, the sun card, the ace of cups. And we also have the emperor. We have um, Aries energy Someone I feel here is coming towards you. This is someone I feel, like I said, with that two of cups, there's a lot of love there. I feel like this is someone who is actually coming towards you in the right way. With interesting enough, I feel like this is someone sees a lot of happiness, a lot of potential with you here with that Ten of Pentacles. And this is someone who has been planning their next move to come towards you. Wow, beautiful energy. So I'm going to put that uh, Ace of Cups in the Sun card there. Uh, as I said, Ten of Pentacles was on the bottom of the deck. Okay, so here's the communication. Opportunity for a fresh start. I'm going to first clarify this ten of, pen, uh, ten of Swords. Why is the Ten of Swords here, please? Why is the Ten of Swords here, please? Why is the Ten of Swords here, please? Okay, I'm just going to move that over a little bit. We have the Nine of Swords. We, we have the Knight of Swords three times here in, in the reading, okay? I feel like this is an indication that this is someone who is coming towards you quite quickly here. Um, but in, for purposes of clarifying, yeah, look at that, the 10 of swords. Okay. There was an ending here, ace of swords, communication, and look at that nine of swords and page of pentacles. 
there is some sort of message here. This person is coming towards you with a message. And look, three of cups. I feel a reconciliation here. Ten of wands. Okay. Um, uh, this could be an indication if you were dealing with a third party. <clears throat> There could have been some sort of burden with a third party. A karmic situation doesn't have to be another lover, but the, that is ending here, okay? Whatever it is. And here's the Knight of Cups. Someone's coming towards you. I feel here they may um, even may even be an apology or um, an expression of love or just showing that they still have love for you, okay? It's definitely a romantic opportunity, Whew. Okay, I feel a little heaviness here, Cancer. Let's, um, um, I feel like this is going to be the fresh start, the breakthrough here, the Knight of Swords, this person coming towards you pretty quickly here. Let's see why the Seven of Swords is here, please. Why is the Seven of Swords here, please? Why is the Seven of Swords here? Okay, Six of Pentacles and the Strength card, all right, yeah. Somebody is coming towards you, um, I feel. They're coming towards you in a giving way. This is someone I feel that, um, especially with the Ten of Swords and the Seven of Swords, they didn't do things the right way in the past. This is someone I feel who avoided. They could have, um, you know, they avoided maybe conversations or giving you clarity. They could have been giving to something else in their life here. And uh, I almost feel with this Knight of Swords that uh, they're rushing in here or they're coming towards you pretty quickly because they may be feeling that they're missing an opportunity here. They may even be seeing you, Cancer, because I do feel like they've been keeping an eye however they can. They may be seeing that you're getting a lot of attention. Why is the um, Knight of Swords here, please? Why is the Knight of Swords here, please? Okay, oh, look at that. Queen of Swords and the Justice. Yeah, making something right. Oh my gosh, Cancer, look at that. We have the King of Swords is the next card here. Gosh, trying to get it right here. King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. They're looking at each other. It's like they're detached a bit, though. It's like they're both detached a bit emotionally. But they're looking at each other. And here's the scales of karma. All right. The scales here of karma and justice. So I feel like this is a chance, not just for this person, but both of you. Maybe it's time for both of you to make things right together. And whether you want to be with this person or not, we've got the Six of Cups here. I feel like there's a lot of fond memories between you and this person. And again, like a lot of love here. And so it's one of those situations, yeah, there may have been, and you know, I'm just going to say, take it how it resonates. There may have been something very hurtful that happened in this situation between you and this person, but I'm also feeling here a strong energy that there's still that possibility that you and this person can make things work. You always have free will and choice. Your person too may have had to go to uh, through some sort of karma um, to realize that they're missing an opportunity with you because you're showing up here as the queen of swords. It's not about male or female. Um, it's about the energy, but you're showing up as this queen of swords. Now, maybe you said something harsh to this person, or maybe you just, uh, you know, blocked or cut this person out of their life. Something ha happened, um, to, I feel to make this person feel like now they're missing an opportunity. Let's see why the Page of Swords is here because I do feel like um, this the, this person definitely has been distant, okay? I feel like for a lot of you, we haven't had a whole lot of communication from this person recently. Why is the Page of Swords here? Okay, wow, yes, exactly here. This person has been reflecting, thinking about you, thinking about the past. I feel like they're very curious about what you're up to here. 
definitely here. And like I said, Ace of Wands here, they want another opportunity. You know, I think I might just clarify this Ace of Wands. Now, in the extended cancer, um, we will look deeper into this uh, next three, four to weeks energy, what your person's thinking, feeling, their upcoming actions, intentions, love notes, guidance. I will look at future love, future love with this person and future love uh, for new love. Why is uh, the Ace of Wands here, please? Yeah, look at that. Six of Swords, exactly what I was saying here. Six of Swords. We have the Six of Swords. Okay, well, let's do it this way. Ten of Wands, Six of Swords. And the Page of Cups. They're coming towards you. They want to connect with you. They want to get past some sort of conflict here with the Six of Swords. They want to release the burdens of the past here, okay? Either that or some sort of burden was let, was released in their life. And look what's showing up again, a King of Swords. And we also have here the Empress. And the next card is your energy here, uh, Cancer. This person seeing you as very abundant, um, as this empress, they're seeing you as, you know, some of you, you could be the mother or father of this person's child. Uh, some of you, maybe they see you as loving, definitely loving and nurturing, um, sees you in a mother energy. Okay. But this is someone I feel they're hoping they haven't missed the opportunity or the chance with you. So this person is coming towards you. I feel with the ace of wands wanting another, um, opportunity now we have the moon card here pisces energy something's unknown here now it could be emotions running high but let's see why the moon card is here please why is the moon card here please oh my gosh cancer i think we saw the emperor earlier aries energy and look, oh my gosh, this is the confirmation. Your readings always surprise me. Spirit confirms a lot in your readings. Look at that. The moon, which we are clarifying, the emperor and the eight of pentacles. What's unknown to you is this is someone who's been planning this. This is someone who is planning their next move coming towards you. This is someone I feel they're trying to figure out how they're going to make this work. Now, some of you... It's interesting, some of you, this could be somebody that you work with or you're in the same profession. Some of you, this could be your boss, just saying here. Um, I also feel like, too, this could be someone who works a lot, maybe self-employed or they're in like a high-level authoritative position. And this could be someone who's really uh, been thinking a lot about this while they work. And, you know, I do get an energy, too, with this is that it could be someone who throws themselves into work to not deal with their feelings and emotions. But I feel like this is someone, um, you know, they can't hide forever, right? Wow. So, Cancer, let's pull uh, these oracles here for you. Let's see what the, the love oracles have to say for you, Cancer. Okay, we have music. Now, you could, you or your person could be a musician, but I feel like um, when this person listens to music, they think about you. This also could be someone who is like a charmer uh, type of person. Okay, you know, someone who I'm just going to say could have been a snake in the past. But let's see here. We have healing. Okay, okay. Uh, definitely, like I said, this person wants to heal this connection, all right, mend uh, the situation. We also have here surrender, okay? So, Cancer, you may have surrendered um, in the situation. You may have let go. You may have given up here. It's also a card of patience. So, you may have been very patient with this person as well. Um, but letting go and having faith you know, really could be what's making this situation manifest uh, for this person to come back around. Oh my gosh, look at that. Faded meeting, okay? So um, this is a card that says, um, you know, this is destiny, you know, meant to be predetermined that you and this person are meant to come back together to meet again. Some of you, you could run into this person again, um, you know, 
that could trigger this person to start communicating with you. Uh, it's going to be different for everybody, okay? I don't know if you ride the subway here. You got a person here on the subway. Maybe you're going to meet them on the subway. Interesting. Okay. Oh, interesting. We got the player. That's where the healing is here. This is someone I feel maybe you felt played by this person. Again, it's a card here of manipulation, which I felt there was some form of manipulation here, a karmic situation could have been involved here again a very charming this is a charming person what i'm getting as well let's see what else we have okay interesting we have liquid courage here okay so they're trying to gain the the courage okay so um you could get a drunk text from this person uh with the liquid courage um this could be someone who drinks but it doesn't have to be it could also be someone um that you know they really just had a very odd behavior with you okay let's um i'm gonna pull a couple more cards and then we'll go to the extended all right change yeah so there's change coming that's what i'm feeling here um, this is telling me there's a new cycle here. There's an opportunity for growth. It's also a transformation. Could be an indication your person has gone through a transformation. Okay, interesting here. We have fear. I'm going to pull one more card before I read this fear energy here. Okay. Oh, okay. Reconciliation. So this could be that your person is having some anxiety, feeling uneasy here, having fears here about coming towards you. Um, but we do have reconciliation, okay? Union energy, second chances, uh, getting back together, all right? And I will say bottom of the deck here, we have family. So this could be you and this person coming together, you know, re a, a union uh, with family as well. Um, you know, maybe the two of you have children, whether they're together or not. Take it how it resonates. But all right, Cancer, are gonna really interesting. Let's see how this plays out in the extended. I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel lift.